dear viewers and hopefully everybody is like getting back to normal for me it was very hard january uh, ramp up is really really difficult especially because i was doing the annuals and they took enormous amount of energy from me but it is retrograde is over about two hours ago and I wanted to wait for that to go away and that I can function because I don't know about you guys and what kind of Mercury retrograde you had. For me, it was just awful and I'm so glad it is gone. So without much further ado, I just want to tell you that the annual telescopes are still on the sale. You can wait at the end of the video where you can actually have the pricing and the links or you can simply go in the description and click it over there. Also, there is a huge special this month. And you see, I was a busy bee last month trying to clear my desk from a whole bunch of work. So the special this month, the still the spread is $50, but also I will be delivering this to you in one week. So you will not to have to pay additional rush fees to get it sooner. If, however, you still want it to get it within three days, then there is a still a, a price that is a double cost. This is just simply, it's going to be returned to you within seven days. So for any level of rating on my site. So again, check the description box, check specials on my site and click through there. Alrighty guys, so let me give you explanation about these particular cards and then let's kind of like examine what's going to happen this month. Hi guys, this is going to be a really quick explanation about the spread. The spread has taken me quite a while to develop. It is really unique to Cat Tarot. And the cards that you're seeing on the table are from a different deck. And the same cards we will find the deck I'm going to use for each sign. However, they are just titles of the chapter. And these titles are going to be able to tell me certain things about the quality of relationship, etc, etc. So I'm just going to quickly run through it. And hopefully by the end of it, I'm going to know how long this lasts. So for those of you who are well versed on this, you can just jump through it. If you're here the first time, please sit through it because this is very important. And I'm not going to answer any questions that are covered here. So the magician is basically the first card of tarot number one. And it's talking about as above, so below, alpha and omega from the beginning to the end. I can create the world. I can create everything, you know. So the magician is the one who is basically um, a, a, trying to teach these tools about how to create this relationship. The reason I'm choosing this card over here is to really see what good things you had in this kind of like combination. Was this relationship ever a starter? The second card is temperance reversed. It's purposely reversed because in the upright situation, temperance talks about merging things, uh, uniting things, alchemy. When you, <laughs> when you meet a person who is like coming from completely different life experiences and background and you still make it work, this is like what temperance does. Now, when this is reversed, things are ungluing for some reason. And this is the category that is going to tell you what issues are really the issues that would need to be fixed in order for anything to ever happen. Queen of Wands will be dating ladies or you as the main partner, like in all of that. Uh, I'm purposely choosing both fire, um, basically cards, because when we date, we are all fire. And then we fall back to our own, basically, you know, element. So initially, we have to kind of combust this fire in order to kind of like to make things going. The eight of wands is going to tell me about the energy and communication between the partners. The knight of wands will represent a partner. And if they are coming through, if they're not coming through, what they're thinking and so on and so forth. The judgment is my karma card. Judgment is generally talking about how things from the past resulted up to that point. And basically, what did you do with all these tools? You had good things. 
that you could build and you had the things that you had to repair, how did you do if karma is saying, should you continue, should you not continue? It's like an independent opinion, if you wish. And then we have four of wands, which is the card that talks next phase. So what's happening in the next phase of at this juncture between the partners, right? So I hope this was like not too much. It was like only three minute explanation. And let's jump in right into what the stars say this month for you. Hi Leo, welcome to your X spread. So let's see what's going to happen over the next four weeks. So whenever you're jumping on, this, these will be your four weeks. So you don't have to backtrack and wonder the date because there is a reason why you're jumping on it unless you're coming to double check some information that is a different story. Also, in the beginning of this reading, let me tell you, this is a general reading, which means there are Leos, 40 Leos, who are watching this. Uh, there are people who have Ascendant Leo. There are people who have Moon in Leo, who have Venus in Leo. People who are checking Mars in Leo because they want to see if this partner kind of like is kind of like having that ideal partner vibe finally. But there are also people who um, have dated via Leo who are cross watchers and people who resent something that happened to them. So keep in mind these are all the energies that attract. So hence this is a general reading to get your private ones. It's really in the special so just take advantage of that. So what do we have? We have the Empress. We have five of wands reversed and then we have another five of cups. King of Pentacles. Six of wands. We have ten of swords and we have page of swords. Well, this is very complicated. I kind of like this because the Empress card is always good. The Empress card means the mother um, being grounded, kind of like reaching this balance, knowing where you're going, why you're going there, right? So it's kind of like, um, if, especially if you're a woman and if you're trying to get uh, confirmation if they c what they thought about you, well, they did almost think that you're the perfect woman. I do have to kind of like give you a little caveat for the Empress. While this is a perfect woman, this is not an exciting woman. And especially for men, but even women these days, we kind of like separate these two things and we are kind of chasing that flame. And the flame starts and finishes, right? But this is the woman who is taking care of everything. This is the woman who is a mother, who kind of like wants to run the whole household, her own kind of queendom, if you wish, right? I think with this partner, there was lots of misunderstanding, setting borders, lots of angers. When you, when people step on your borders or you step on theirs, the anger kicks in, right? Because nobody likes their borders violated. And I also see sadness over here, most likely on your part. The discussion most likely might take place uh, even in the beginning in this first week, and it would be about the expectation and looks like it's going to be just completely different take on it, right? It looks like your take is like, look, I really want what they want and what they need and you're putting there and I kind of want you to be this reliable person and possibly uh, a wife or a husband because King of Pentacles is that flavor. But they kind of like really want to be important. This is also very sexual flavor. It's not great balance, I have to say. This person wants this much, this person is just completely in a different kind of thing. The karma is saying that the worst is over and the communication channels can open right now. So I still want to see this sadness. Uh, was there a third party? Well, yeah, I think this actually could be a wife as well or another partner. So this is telling me they were lies, or even lies by omission, truth not being told. Oh, there you go. There is, honestly, in this communication, what I'm seeing here, oh, look at all these people. What the heck is going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, whole crowd. So what's going on here? 
there is a couple here, or there is a discussion about couplehood, but they definitely, like, one partner really wants it, another one doesn't, another one is like not even capable of carrying on a relationship. This is like asking a five-year-old to fly a plane. It's, it's simply that this currently from the cards that I see can happen. And somebody is resulting into kind of building walls, kind of like almost rigidness is being introduced in a situation. Sort of like there was the entry in the entire situation with really good will, which is great. And it's like really the best way to be in it. But like this is saying it was either rejection or, or cheating over here or somebody making you crazy, which I think is the case. I, I distinctly think there are two different people. That there is a third person, and not the third person like a mother or a child, but uh, a person who is well active and who is completely clueless of what is going on. King of Swords is sort of a judge. So the partner is attracting a lot of negative karma in this sta at this stage. So keep that in mind. Really, really, it's important. So look at this. We have two sevens, including the tower. And tower is coming in a category where I'm trying to determine if this is ever a starter, guys. Oh my gosh, you have a karmic card here. A karmic relationship. This is really confusing, guys. Y you, I think it's you, Leo, that you need certain things from the past to be spoken. You need certain things from the past to, to realign properly. Because both of these cards are coming from the past. And both of them somehow are related to Scorpio. So it's even more powerful if there is some kind of involvement or possibly even an Aries. So, um, and, and also you have Aquarius here. So, you know that I generally don't look at the signs because we all are a mixture of so many, but like this is coming across so strongly because Scorpio is ruling about from about the past and something that is deeply hidden inside and it kind of like bubbles up to the surface, right? So, it just explodes. The tower always comes out when we don't clean our own house and karma steps in, steps in twice. So it's going to be almost like tornado and say, look, you have no options. I'm making these options for you. You have to build it out properly or not at all. Because judgment is saying, okay, you know what? The discussion has to take place. But after, you better put everything out and it's over. You know, like what they say, like what, what was uh, the, the, the vows were speak now and or stay silent forever. That's kind of a thing that might come to the fore. And actually, I think that can save the day, my dear Leo, because I see clarity after that. I see, you know, hey, there is like this finally offer of love. The star, as I said, it could be Aquarius, but it could be somehow that they are opening up more to interaction, to engagement, and, and are sending this healing energy, these two cards combine really well. And there, there is like, again, going back to what you wanted to be, the strong woman, passionate woman, who also wants to be a mother. And there, it, this is, karma is saying, okay, so there are ships. And you know what they talk about, ships, relationships, friendships, partnerships. This is a little bit worrisome because I have, as the quality of relationship, both nine and one reversed. So check it out. Nine is the final stage of something, but sort of like it's kind of wobbly. Somebody is really not standing on their feet properly. And it is really important to kind of absorb this lesson. You need to be completely happy, completely on your own. There, like that wish, oh, I need a partner to fulfill me. That's not what this card says. This card says you need to be really, really happy with who you are. So like relationship happens as a sort of like an afterthought. And this should turn to this, which kind of would be really good. So it's not still turning around completely because I think some kind of healing has to take place. Goals have to take place. Sort of like, where the heck are we going? Because I think, Leo, you kind of like also 
kind of like build walls, protectiveness walls, but they're not going to last because everything will be collapsing in the upcoming weeks. So let's see. Hmm, you're getting your own card, Leo, here, but it is reversed. Shall we see over here? I have, we have another nine over here, and it's again reversed. So this is a self-pity party when it is reversed. And it is, oh, everything has happened to me. So this is the story. You want to be that princess, that queen on the pedestal. And you want to be someone who has somebody else, but who sort of like is not even sure about their own life. I don't know if this person is going through divorce because king of swords can mean that. And hence, there is the subtle, sudden singlehood, which maybe they cannot handle. And hence, that's why the Ace of Pentacles doesn't turn, because what shall I do? It could be somebody stuck and confused, and they need to heal before they can go forward. There is a definite breakup from some communication. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to put it together, because I see the couple here that is together, and this is in the communication between you and a partner. So this is definitely you talking about your own relationship. But then I see this partner, him, with somebody else, but they are not together. There is disconnect in between. So this is saying it's a new phase turning around, but it is you now, Leo, who hesitates. It is you who don't want to commit. There is, be very aware that somebody here is juggling somebody. I'm getting lots of messages. And I think this could be that person over here. Somebody's checking somebody on social media. I see that flavor. But the ending is good. The ending is, hey, remember how I said about the ships? I see another three. I see our three, uh, the three over here. And this is a three. So three in tarot is the beginning, right? Three is when things start to turn around, the very first phase, when you m make this first step. You can still kind of like run back to the house to get your keys and phone, but you kind of are determined to go. So it looks like it's going to be a shakedown. I'm not going to kid you. You will be hurt, but out of that hurt, something positive will happen. You'll say, you know what, we need to clean the slate. It's going to be, honestly, Leo, you'll go from sadness to self-protectiveness to, okay, let's clear it. And even though you'll probably get what maybe you hope to get, but this is still going to leave you suspicious and hesitant. But things will still somehow move forward. So this kind of looks good, Leo, but given that literally karma, because you, you have karmic cards over here. Oh, my, my Alexa is just like talking to itself and you should see how it really talks to Safi. It is just like ridiculous in the middle of the night. So, Leo, this is a new, this is a really good card. A new cycle is starting. So, you have to figure out who you want to be in this new cycle. That is pretty much a very loud message here. You have to put your foot down and I think you will. So, uh, your comments are more than welcome. I really learned so much from you and I'm integrating this. I'm uh, very thankful for this. And your bi-weeklies are coming up soon. And let's not forget that this is a general reading and for your private reading, of course, contact me for your kind of personal vibration. Thank you very much. Love you, Leos. Okie dokie, all annual telescopes are now done. Believe it or not, that was a great effort. And each of them is anywhere between one hour and 45 minutes and some of them are even going to two hours. The first segment is kind of collectively about the year we are going into 2018. That's some good 45 minutes. And after that, you can check your own sign and everything is going on. So this is right now every individual one is like $29.95 and collectively to get them all is $59.95. So guys, feel free to go and check this link below or the link on the screen 
and go and order your telescope. You can get it within 24 hours and sometimes even faster. So to everybody who ordered, thank you so much. And I really hope you're going to enjoy and even order additional one. All the best guys, talk to you soon. Thank <music> you.